Hey everybody, this is Technoli. I got a real quick short video today on how to fix this no vault and OCS errors and everything else. Since OpenCore just upgraded their software, we have to change something. Now, if you've got a working machine and you're using, let me show you here, uh, USB, and you are using open core package right here if you're using 5.5 then don't don't upgrade because if you do you're going to have all kinds of errors you're going to have problems so if your machine is running fine i would leave it the way it is they're going to come out with updates all the time and if you think oh it's just like a software update it's not it will cause your system not to boot it'll ruin your build um, the config.p list is different, so we have to be very careful. Now, for you guys that have done my latest builds or having issues, let me show you how to fix this no vault problem. So, you've got your new uh, 5.6 open core. Let me show you here. All right, so here is the new open core. And you know how we use, right here, we use the uh, sample plist from this. But if you use this sample plist with 5.5 open core, it's not going to work. Now, something else we have to do. Let's say you just built your USB stick with 5.5 and you haven't tried to install the OS or you're having problems installing it. You also need to copy some other files from the new 5.6. So it's not just grab the sample P list, it's also grab three other files. So let's go under EFI and then boot. We need this one. All right, let me show you. This is the one on my USB drive, right? And this file needs to be deleted. And I need to copy this one. They're different sizes. They're different files. Whoops, right there. So copy from 5.6 to your thumb drive. All right. I had the same problem, so I know what you're going through. And then an open core drivers. Remember how I said just go ahead and delete all of them? Well, this uh, FW runtime services file is different. So we need to keep it over here. So in drivers, we're going to get rid of this one right here. We're going to move it to the trash and we're going to copy this one and put it in our drivers folder. Okay, one more file we need right here. Opencore.efi is a different file right here. So right click, move to trash, grab this one, copy it and put it over here. That's it guys. That should get rid of all your problems. Now, let me show you something else real quick. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to my downloads and get a uh, proper tree. And I'm going to open it up. Now, if you're on Windows, it's the same deal. So it's, it's no problem. It's the same basic setup. All right, so I'm going to open up my open core, my config.p list. Right here, I'm going to go down to my boot drive, EFI, OC config.p list and open it up. Now, down here a ways, I think it's under miscellaneous. Let me check. Down, down, down. A lot of guys miss this right here. This vault has to be set to optional. By default, it is set to secure. You need to change it to optional or you'll get that same error message. Be careful when you are doing all of these tasks in here because, like I said before, one wrong move and she's not going to work. So when you change that, if you've got it set to secure and then you change it, make sure that you, when you exit out of here, that you save. Okay? If you don't save, of course, the changes won't take, a, take uh, effect. That's it, guys. That's all we need to do to move over from this 5.5 over to 5.6. Hope this was helpful for you. I got the new 
AMD Ryzen 9 3900X in today. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing the complete build from building the motherboard, putting on the CPU, putting it in the case, everything, and we're gonna show you how it performs. Okay, see you later.